Hey, Bledrins. So basically, I've got this Lenovo laptop right here that I have acquired recently, and it has a password on it that I cannot get into that I don't know at all. Um, the original user did not, for whatever reason, like you know, wipe the computer or delete the user or take the password off. So I'm gonna have to do it myself. This is a pretty easy process to bypass and get rid of the account and get into the laptop successfully without having it restricted or nothing. All you gotta do is basically have Hiren's boot CD. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a really stripped down version of Windows 10 itself, it's like a custom version of Windows 10. And it's got tools in it uh, pre-installed on Hiren's boot CD that all you gotta do is literally just shove the CD inside the computer and boot straight off of it and it loads it into RAM, uh oh. And obviously I am going to be blurring out the user's name because privacy reasons, let me just zoom in just a bit more. Um, and so all you gotta really wanna do is you're gonna have to download Haran's boot CD, it's gonna be in the description below, um, and just burn it either to a CD or a USB drive. A USB drive should be quicker because obviously it's loading off flash storage, whereas this is an actual CD drive, so it's gonna spin. The way this process works is, and there are plenty of tutorials out there on YouTube as well, um, we're gonna be taking advantage of this ease of access function at the bottom right here. And that opens an application called utilman.exe. Uh, and we're gonna be changing that uh, to the command prompt so we can type in some command lines and bypass it. So let's get this started here. So all you gotta do is just get your Hiren's boot CD out and put it in the drive. And then what we wanna do here is shut off the computer. Once your computer is shut off, uh, Lenovo laptops have something called the Novo key. It's not even a Novo key, it's more like a Novo button, but you know, they just call it a key. Um, basically, that just brings up the entire boot menu, uh, which I'll show you right now. If you've got any other laptop brand, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be something like, you know, F1 or even Escape. You just like hit Escape or F1 or F2, or whatever it is. Um, a bunch of times while it starts up for Lenovo laptops however though all you gotta do is just get one of these little um, sim eject tools and then on the side or maybe on the right side or maybe even on the back I don't know because each Lenovo laptop is different um, you just literally just gotta push that button and it boots up on its own and then it's gonna bring up the Novo here we go the Novo button menu so I'm gonna zoom in just to show you that Put the brightness down a bit and that's the Novo button menu so it literally just shows you normal startup bios setup boot menu and system recovery and this recovery thing it's got the partition on it and i'll show you how to do that in another video um but let's just get into the boot menu and while that's happening i'm gonna zoom out a bit so once you're into the boot menu or boot manager um, you want to locate where it says the CD drive. So as you can see, it says ATAPICD. Um, it's going to say something similar like uh, SATA CD or something like that. Um, but anyways, all you just got to do is either boot to the CD drive or it will say something like USB on the left side right there. And then you just boot into it. So I've burned it to a CD, so I'm just going to boot into that. Oh. Yeah, when it does that, remember to hit a couple keys. Alright guys, so now after the CD had um, gone completely vum vum, it is booting now. So that is good. Um, I am also going to be recovering, like factory resetting this computer from Lenovo One Key Recovery, which is on this computer, which is nice. And I'm obviously going to make a video on that. Hold on. Wait, you'll see. Yeah, mate, it plays the Windows Longhorn startup. That is mad. How sick is that? But anyways, this is the Windows... Uh, this is the Hiren's Boot CD uh, Windows 10 pre-installation environment kind of thing. Um, it is really, really sick. And all you got to do here is just go into the file manager down there and then go into your C drive. And then as you can see, I've got all these hidden folders showing, but don't worry about any of that because that's not important. Just go into the Windows folder, as you can see down here. Then you want to type in the letter S on your keyboard, and then it brings up everything from the start that starts with letter S. 
and then you can see system 32 down here so go into that don't mix yourself up with literally just a system folder because it's right next to each other um, just go into literally the system 32 folder and then you want to type in on your keyboard u-t-i-l and i think i got way too close to the microphone but that should be all right and that's what we're looking for utilman.exe and i'm just going to quickly zoom in a bit and what you want to do is right click that and then go to rename and then just go boom just go at the end not after the dots go behind the dot and type in the letter one so it's utilman1.exe hit enter and then you want to go back and type in cmd and as you can see this is what comes up cmd.exe and now you want to rename that to capital u small t i l m a n hit enter and that's basically it so uh, it just pushes it all the way down to the bottom so don't worry about that and you are done from here so literally what you got to do is shut down or just basically restart straight into the operating system right here we go finally and as you can see um, I'm still obviously locked out um, don't start clicking I forgot my pin or whatever it is this is what you want to click on ease of access that's what we change because ease of access opens up the utilman uh, application which was that little pop-up window at the bottom right about the ease of access things but we change that to CMD so if you click on that it opens up CMD on the top left here we go right so what you guys want to be typing in right now is the following and this will be in the description as well net user and then here's what you want to type in you want to type in the user account name that you want to make so if I want to make a new account and I want to call it Lenovo OVO um, I can type in Lenovo and then you want to type in the oh god my mouse is freaking out you want to type in the password you want to make and although I think you are able to leave it blank it's probably best just to put in a password so command prompt doesn't start killing you um, so I just put in one two three and then you want to do slash add and mind you is forward slash there we go and then once you have completed that you just want to type in net and then local group and then you want to type in administrators and then you want to type in Lenovo or whatever you typed in and then just do forward slash add and boom so basically you are good to go now so all you got to do is just type in exit restart your computer there we go let's just hit enter and boom there we go Lenovo is right there so what we put as our password was one two three so let's do one two three hit enter and we are in there we go that took quite a while now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly bypass the setup and let this load and then I'll just show you how to remove the old account. So give me a couple minutes, I'll be right back. And boom, there we go. We are in to Windows 10. Um, shut your mouth, piss off Windows with your stupid administrator diagnostic bullshit let's go to settings straight away and as you can see you still got its original Lenovo stuff which is really nice and its OEM wallpapers so that is really really nice you know me how I like my OEM stuff and original stuff 
Um, but anyways, let's go into accounts. Anytime now. And then you can go to family and other users. And here you go, you can see the old user. Obviously, I'm going to block that out because it's got her Gmail and um, name on it. So let's just click on remove. And then delete account and data. And it is connected to my internet as well. I connected it earlier on um, during when I first got it. So it is connected to the internet. If it isn't connected to the internet, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to start, you know, giving you random errors or nothing like that. And this is a successful bypass. And I will call it a bypass. And actually, I wouldn't even call it a bypass. I'd say how to successfully get, you know, get into a locked laptop. Um, obviously not the original user um, I don't think there's ever really ways to get into original users especially with Microsoft accounts um, I think you will 100% be able to you know get into local accounts and I think I might actually make a second video on how to get into a local account and reset the password so that is really really good um, I'd say when it comes to Microsoft accounts you can't get into them because obviously they use their actual Gmail password um, or Hotmail password or Outlook password whatever it is so you can't get into those um, and boom here we go add someone else to this PC okay we're not gonna do that um, let's just do your info actually and boom there you go as you can see it says administrator um, there's nothing locked on this computer now everything is completely unlocked there's no restrictions nothing and just to show you it isn't some next level fluke what I'll do is I'll restart the laptop and then you can get to see that the account is fully gone and I'm not gonna cut I'm just gonna speed the footage up just so it makes it easier for you guys Here we go let's click enter and as you can see there's no other account it's literally just my lenovo account one two three enter and we are in And that is it guys we are fully in as you can see thank you very much for watching this video i know i haven't posted in a month i'm gonna hopefully make another video soon of you know the local account bypass um so yeah stay tuned for that one i hope i really hope this helps you out to you know bypass the stolen i mean um uh, locked laptops that you guys have and uh, that this is stolen or anything <laughs> and thank you very much for watching Take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video.